Hey there guys and welcome to part 2 of Banjo 3, the ROM hack made by Jackson G13. So I did collect the first Jiggy of the level at the end of the last episode, and I'm continuing on from where we left out. Oh, look at that. A retexture of the chump fish. I'm gonna lure him over to uh, land. I said I'm gonna lure him over to the land. Forget it. Wow. I never knew that I could do that. Ooh, he changed the bubbles. He changed the air meter to be bubbles, just like in Banjo-Tooie. That's so cool. I personally think that if there was ever an official Banjo 3E, we would have gotten a mixture of the moves that we learned from Banjo Kazooie and the moves from Banjo 2E. Although I, it probably would be a bit repetitive to continuously uh, release new games and have the old moves uh, be carried over and pre learned. I mean, that was good for uh, Banjo-Tooie, where the moves from the original game were all pre-learned. And then we also got to learn some new abilities. Would that be a bit repetitive if they did that again for another new game? And I'm not talking about, like, what we got with Nuts and Bolts, where we don't have any of the new abilities, except maybe swimming and climbing. Are these doors breakable? Nope. They are not breakable. Are these all Mumbo's neighbors? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Am I going to slip off now, since I'm out of the talent trot? Yep! Yep! Thought there would be an off chance of me not slipping, but nope. Come on, I managed to get up there before without slipping. Come on! Maybe I should have got the jiggy last. Ooh, I know, I'll just jump off of that beehive. Leave my honeycombs alone! I'm not interested in your honeycombs, I'm interested in using you as a stepladder. Thank you. Oh my! What? What? From this angle, Mumbo's hut has turned into the egg texture. But now it's back to normal. That's so weird. I don't think- Oh! It did again. Yeah, from certain angles, the hut just changes color. How weird is that? All right, well, so far I managed to find, uh, I think I managed to find two jiggies in this level. Oh, oh now to go down. Oh, it's a trench. I think I need to find. All right, so I got, I got four of the gingos so far. I sure hope I'm not stuck. Oh, not at all. Oh, I already went that way. Oh, there's a witch switch! He brought the witch switches back. Ah, the witch switches. Those were one of my favorite functions of the original Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, I see. It was that, uh, gruntling on top of the, uh... The temple that was, uh, talking. Oh, I found a Jiggy, and I did not even see it there. 
Is this gonna be like that pyramid from uh, Gobi's Valley where you're trapped inside and it's just a matter of time before you're squished to death or crushed to death? Whoa, did I just exit? Oh my! Giant Gruntlings! Well, one giant Gruntling. Alright, so I managed to get them all and I got the Jiggy. Although it was already there. It was already there, so I could have gotten it beforehand. All right. Wow, the camera is not very friendly. All right, so I got another Jiggy. So I got eight of them so far. Is that all that's in here? Oh, nope, there's more. Pretty sure that this is where all right, any more? Don't see any more, so I guess I'll just exit now. All right. Yeah, I think there may be some way on actually beating that gruntling that is at, at the top, or is there? I'm not sure. I don't see any any means of climbing. Or is he just there for decorations? Just, just to add a sort of obstacle. That is quite clever. To have the Gruntling act like, uh, Konga. Alright, so I managed to smash most of the, uh... Most of the huts so far, but I haven't found the right one. Well, I haven't found the last one. Or did I? I, I, I mean, I don't think I have. Oh, there's, there it is! Okay. Just needed to get out of that. 98, 98, 98, 98. Cheeky! Cheeky! All right, so that's nine so far. Now there is a transformation in this level, and I cannot believe that we've already gotten. Uh, we've already gotten nine of the Jiggy so far, and we have not gotten the transformation yet. Ah, good change of the music. Just wanted to see what was up here before I started the transformation. Alright, Mumbo. Hello again, Baron Bird. It be long time. It sure has. How are you doing, Mumbo? Mumbo doing well. Mumbo learn new transformation spells. They be better than Wumbas. Pa! I doubt that. Now then, Kazooie, let's just give them a try. But Mumbo's tokens get stolen again by which help Mumbo find tokens before magic. Alright. This better be worth it. Ah, oh, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press B to see mighty Mumbo magic. Gladly. Call this watermelon. Wumba never come up with this. Um, Mumbo, this is just like the pumpkin one you did a while back. Okay, Mumbo try harder next time. Oh yeah. Kazooie pointing out the obvious. Alright, so... We're a watermelon now. Although, do watermelons have stems? I bet this is gonna be used for something, but... I'm not quite sure what. Like, is there some sort of a... hole to help us get the Jiggy that we have not gotten yet? I mean, there's, there's one more Jiggy left in this uh, level, and I just need to know where it is. I'm gonna try in here.
Like, is there some sort of a hole that Watermelon Banjo needs to go into? Well, here we are in the room again where we fought those Gruntlings, but I don't see anything. I'm pretty sure that there is something in here for us to find. Pretty sure there is something. Maybe one of the houses has a small hole that we need to get inside of? I don't know, but I'm gonna see if I can find anything. Like some sort of a little peak hole? Oh! Mumbo's skull is glitching again. I don't see anything. Could there be something in the water for us to get as a pumpkin? I mean, a uh, watermelon. Although, would jumping into the water be a good idea? I'm not entirely sure. We may just end up getting stuck in there unless there's some sort of uh, path to let us out. Gonna make a save state and try it out. Magic all gone, must go back to Baron Bird now. Oh, I see. So if I jump into the water, I turn back to normal. Okay. That was weird. But what is it that you need to use that watermelon transformation for anyway? I mean, I know that there is one more Jiggy in this level, because we've only got nine of them so far. And I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with... with that gruntling that's throwing coconuts at us. Oh, I see! There's a little hole in the back of that tree. So, I'm gonna go back to Mumbo now and uh, turn back into a watermelon. I'm trying to turn the... that, uh... the limit FPS thing on, but I guess it doesn't work for this ROM. Oh, well. So now we are a watermelon again, and I really like how he managed to import P.T. Prana from Mario into this ROM. Yeah, I did see a little bit of this uh, ROM hack. I'm not going to reveal too much. Although I have not seen a full playthrough of this uh, ROM because I didn't want to spoil myself. Oh, the Jiggy's just in there. I thought maybe it just led to another whole area of the game, but I guess not. Well, that, that's disappointing to just have a pump or a watermelon transformation be used just for that one Jiggy. I mean, the transformations in the original Banjo Kazooie had a, a lot more variety. Maybe there'll be something for this transformation uh, in the hub world. All right, so you know, just like. Just like with the original. I just wanted to see if there was anything else for the watermelon to do in the hub world. But I guess there isn't. Oh well. May as well go and find that Jiggy that appeared. Oh, did it appear in here? I don't see it anywhere. Or is it even in this room? Whoa. The game began to lag a little bit. At least it, it appeared to... Oh, there it is. There it is. Wow, look at that uh, circle. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, the throw discs from Bionicle. All right, well, we've uh, we managed to get through the first level of the game. Now to open up the first note door and see what we get. Ah, that was my easiest note door. You'll never get through the rest of them. 
All right, so here we are in the second area of the uh, of the museum, and my battery is telling me that's the uh, the. Well, the camera is telling me that the battery is running low. I'm just gonna look around here. I won't start the next level in this game. That that jiggy was too easy. That jiggy was too easy. What was up with that? All right, so let's see. Tootie and Honey Bee's Guide Hive. I wonder what this this. Ooh. Oh yeah, I remember you. Hi, big brother. Tootie, what are you doing here? Since I kind of missed out on your last adventure, I've decided to help Honeybee out a bit. I really like the music that's playing here. It's great that uh, Jackson got Honeybee into the game. Yeah, just using the same AI that uh, Brentilda had from the original game, since they had the same voice clips. Oh, certain jiggies and stuff are around the museum. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. Good old Banjo Kazooie. All right, so may as well look at the hints. There are only five witch switches in the nine worlds. Oh, good to know. Behind the treasure chest, you will find treasure. Up in an ice ball, there is gold. Alright, I wonder if those will be very helpful for me much later on. Alright, well, that was good to see uh, Tootie and Honeybee are back. And they are giving hints in the game. Whoa, I see patterns on the ground. Okay, well... Let's take a look in here, shall we? All right, so what we know is that there are only five witch switches in the game. There are also two entryways for opening up worlds, but I'm gonna be saving that for, uh, for another time. Oh, I see. The, the music for the pause screen is uh, changed. Although the screen is still glitched out when you pause like it was in uh, Banjo Dreamy. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this second episode of Banjo 3. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again uh, next time.